The dog breed known as the Pug has its origins in China, although it is currently a very popular dog in many countries. Despite their small size, they are considered a molosser breed, defined by a muscular body, comparatively large head, short snout, and a powerful jaw. Did you know this breed needs specific care? This is what we provide in our new Animal Wise video. Brachycephalic Airway Obstructive Syndrome To better understand their care, it's important to note that the pug is a brachycephalic dog breed. This means, due to their anatomy, they have a predisposition towards various respiratory problems. The negative impact on their health is severe. The famous snorting sound these dogs make is due to brachycephaly. The reason for this syndrome is genetic, with artificial selection used to create certain dog breeds and a standardization which resulted in the exaggeration of certain attributes. Feeding. A dog's diet should always be adapted to their age, weight and level of physical activity. We should choose either commercially produced brands or a homemade diet. Either way, quality is essential, as is the correct dosage. If we have any doubts, we need to consult a veterinarian. They will help us to find the right amount and ingredients our dogs need to avoid nutritional deficiencies. Of course, we need to be very clear that a pug cannot be given too much food. They love to eat and can become overweight fairly easily, something which can further aggravate their condition as a brachycephalic dog. Walking and exercise. Ideally, take a pug on short, frequent walks, maybe three to four a day. Although not an easily excitable dog, they are energetic and a great way to channel this energy is to offer plenty of opportunity to play. We should always choose toys adapted to their size and physical condition. However, due to their shortened snout, it's possible the dog will exhibit respiratory difficulties. If we observe any signs that our dog begins to get tired and cannot breathe easily, we need to stop physical exercise. We should also take precaution against overheating. Before continuing our video on caring for pugs, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with everything we share. The pug has a short and smooth coat, which makes it easy to maintain and keep looking shiny. Although the maintenance of their coat is fairly easy, it does not mean we do not need to pay attention to its care. The dog's coat should be brushed regularly, preferably with a rubber brush, and finished off gently using one with harder bristles. During the shedding season, we can see our dog drops more hair and it will be necessary to increase the frequency of the brushing. Brushing not only helps take care of our dog's hair, but helps us to detect parasites and even improves our bond. We recommend bathing only when strictly necessary and it requires the use of suitable dog hygiene products. This means we should only bathe them when they are dirty or smelling bad. Especially important after bathing is drying their coat since the pug does not well tolerate temperature changes. After bathing with warm water, we need to dry them quickly and carefully to avoid rapid cool down. It is also important to pay attention to the folds of their skin on their face and body. These areas retain moisture readily, which is why drying them thoroughly is vital, preventing the appearance of fungi and the proliferation of bacteria in the process. The skin folds can also retain more dirt, so we need to check and clean them regularly and dry them well. Other areas of the body which require hygiene maintenance are the ears, which need otic cleaning products and gauze, the teeth, which need to be cleaned with specific canine toothpaste and brushes, and the eyes. We'll also need to clip the dog's nails if they do not wear down naturally. Veterinary follow-up. The life expectancy of the pug is between 13 and 15 years of age. To achieve such longevity and enjoy a good quality of life, Good veterinary care is necessary. The reasons are not only to keep up to date with their vaccination and deworming schedules, but also to detect any early signs of any health issue. Ideally, you should visit a specialist every 6 to 12 months, especially when dealing with puppies or senior dogs. As we stated before, the pug's short snout predisposes them to suffer numerous problems in the respiratory system. They are also prone to allergies and skin disorders such as dermatitis. Periodic veterinary visits are also very important to handle their care needs and act promptly at the appearance of any alteration to their health. Socialization and affection. 
apart from providing your pug with a soft bed, good care and daily walks, it's essential we reserve some time for our best friend to show affection and make them happy. Dogs are gregarious, especially sociable and affectionate animals. We must ensure they receive the attention they deserve. Let's not forget, they will also enjoy interacting with others of their kind. In this way, although they may be more diminutive than other dogs, we should not prevent them from relating to them once properly socialized. If you want to learn more, why not check out our list of the top Chinese dog breeds? Now that you know how to take care of a pug, is there anything you think we've left out? If so, share with us in the comments, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more. We'll see you next time.